Welcome back to Think Thrice Problem Solving. Today we're going to be solving a pretty nice, easy uh, algebra problem. So we have x, y are in the natural numbers, so integers greater than 0. We have x plus x, y plus y is equal to 54, and we want to find x plus y. So if you'd like to give this a shot, please pause the video and try on your own. Otherwise, let's jump straight into a solution. So I notice that in these first two terms, I can pull out an x, and I could write this as x times 1 plus y plus y is equal to 54. And I notice that I have this 1 plus y here. If I had another one, it would be pretty nice. So I'm going to go ahead and, whoa. I'm going to go ahead and pull this over a little bit, and I'm going to add 1 to both sides. So I'm going to take this add 1, and I'm going to add 1. And what that's going to do is now I have x times 1 plus y plus 1 times 1 plus y is equal to 55. So I can factor out the 1 plus y, and I have 1 plus y times 1 plus x is equal to 55. So the next portion of the problem here is noticing that I have 55, and I'm dealing with only integers. So what I'm going to notice here is that the prime factorization of 55 is going to be 5 times 11. So those are the only two natural numbers that I can multiply to get 55. So what that means is that either 1 plus x or 1 plus y is going to be equal to each one of these. And since what I'm finding is x plus y, um, I can kind of choose either one to be whichever. So if I choose um, y, say, to be 4 and x to be 10, um, and obviously I could have swapped those and that would have been fine, then I can see that x plus y is going to be equal to 14. And that's going to be my final solution. So hopefully you enjoyed this short little problem. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you have your own problem you'd like me to try, go ahead and submit it, and you may see it in a future video. And as you're working on your own problems, think once, think twice, and when you get stuck, think thrice.